Now that's just plain wrong. <laughs> Jake's brother. Yeah, it worked. Hey, I've heard good things about you. Uh-oh. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, Don't good. worry. <laughs> I've heard a lot of great things about you, too. I appreciate you being willing to meet up with me. You know, I can always hang on and do some wind sprints if you're not done working out. No, no, no. I think I'm, I think I'm good. So what did you want to talk to me about? The rumor has it you want to go back to Iraq. I think I can make that happen for you. Do you have some pull with the military? <laughs> oh, God, no. Nothing like that. Just see a friend of mine. I, so I used to be a, a private investigator and a buddy, an old contact. He does private securities contracting over there, you know, in country. And he's looking for men and women. I'm sure he is. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, are you positive? I mean, you can't beat the pay. Why am I in it for the money? Trust me. <laughs> What are you in it for? Um, I'm in the army. The soldiers in my unit need me. Yeah, but according to Jake, the army won't let you go back. No, 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 no. They will. They will. It's just there's, you know, just paperwork stuff we're dealing with. In the meantime, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in shape. Yeah. Well, you're doing a heck of a job. You grew up an athlete? I sure did. Mm. Who was that? Where were you raised? Well, you know, we moved around a lot. We? Big family? Brothers and sisters? Pets? You know what? Thanks for the offer, but uh, I'm not interested. Oh, I, I'm just making conversation. I know. I'll see you around, Ted. How many push-ups can you do? I don't know. I haven't done a push-up since gym class. The best of my recollection, neither have I. But I just ran across Taylor, you know, Jake's super soldier. Uh -huh. She was in the middle of a workout. You know, I swear that woman's biceps are bigger than Jenny's head. Yeah. Please, you got a mysterious email. She probably has a stalker. Nope. Doesn't feel like a stalker. My hunch still says that it's somebody from her family. Now, why would her family dish out all that money for a PI when they could just pick up the phone and call her? No, well, they might not have a choice. This girl's tough. Secretive, closed down. It turns out with good reason. Her fiancé was killed over in Iraq. How awful. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna take her a while to get over that one. If she ever does. I should have gone with the champagne, huh? Ooh, it's an ugly plant, LT. But I love it. And I'll think of you every time I look at it. Well, I've got to get back to work. I've got to help with uh, damage control for Bella. I'll pick up some takeout menus. I'll pick up some earplugs. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm not on till a little later. Want to grab a movie? Actually, I came by here because I need your help. <laughs> What's up? There's uh, something I need to do, but I can't do it alone, and I've put it off way too long. It's time. 